Welcome back, awesome possums. Today we're going to read the story, Officer Buckle and Gloria. It's written and illustrated by Peggy Rathman. Our target skill is cause and effect. In Officer Buckle and Gloria, one event causes another to happen. The first event is the cause, the second event is the effect. As you read, ask yourself what happens and why. Find answers by looking at words and pictures in the story. Our genre is humorous fiction. Humorous fiction is a story to make the reader laugh. As you read, look for characters who say and do funny things and events that could not happen in real life. Let's begin reading Officer Buckle and Gloria. Officer Buckle knew more safety tips than anyone else in Knapville. Every time he thought of a new one, he thumbtacked it to his bulletin board. Safety tip number 77, never stand on a swivel chair. Officer Buckle shared his safety tips with the students at Knapville. Nobody ever listened, and sometimes there was snoring. Afterwards, it was business as usual. Mrs. Topple, the principal, took down the welcome banner. Never stand on a swivel chair, said Officer Buckle, but Mrs. Topple didn't hear him. Then one day, Knapville's police department bought a police dog named Gloria. When it was time for Officer Buckle to give the safety speech at school, Gloria went along. Children, this is Gloria, announced Officer Buckle. Gloria obeys my commands. Gloria, sit, and Gloria sat. Officer Buckle gave safety tip number one. Keep your shoelaces tied. The children sat up and stared. Officer Buckle checked to see if Gloria was sitting in attention. She was. Safety tip number two, said Officer Buckle. Always wipe up spills before someone slips and falls. The children's eyes popped. Officer Buckle checked on Gloria again. Good dog, he said. Officer Buckle thought of a safety tip he had discovered that morning. Never leave a thumbtack where you might sit on it. The audience roared. Officer Buckle grinned. He said the rest of the tips with plenty of expression. The children clapped their hands and cheered. Some of them laughed until they cried. Officer Buckle was surprised. He had never noticed how funny safety tips could be. After this safety speech, there wasn't a single accident. The next day, an enormous envelope arrived at the police station. It was stuffed with thank you letters from the students at Knapville. Every letter had a drawing of Gloria on it. Officer Buckle thought the drawing showed a lot of imagination. His favorite letter was written on a star-shaped piece of paper. It said, you and Gloria make a good team. Your friend, Claire. P.S. I always wear a crash helmet. Safety tip number seven. Officer Buckle was thumbtacking Claire's letter to the bulletin board when the phone started ringing. Grade schools, high schools, and daycare centers were calling about the safety speech. Officer Buckle, they said, our students want to hear your safety tips and please bring along that police dog. Officer Buckle told his safety tip to 313 schools. Everywhere he and Gloria went, the children sat up and listened. After each speech, Officer Buckle took Gloria out for ice cream. Officer Buckle loved having a buddy. 
Then one day, a television news team videotaped Officer Buckle in the State College Auditorium. When he finished safety tip number 99, do not go swimming during electrical storms, the students jumped to their feet and applauded. Bravo, bravo, they cheered. Officer Buckle bowed again and again. That night, Officer Buckle watched himself on the 10 o'clock news. The next day, the principal of Knapville School telephoned the police station. Good morning, Officer Buckle. It's time for our safety speech. Officer Buckle frowned. I'm not giving any more speeches. Nobody looks at me anyway. Oh, said Mrs. Topple. Well, how about Gloria? Could she come? Someone else from the police station gave Gloria a ride to school. Gloria sat on the stage looking lonely. Then she fell asleep. So did the audience. After Gloria left, Knapville School had its biggest accident ever. It started with a puddle of banana pudding. Splat, splatter, splush! Everyone slid smack into Mrs. Topple, who screamed and let go of her banner. The next morning, a pile of letters arrived at the police station. Every letter had a drawing of the accident. Officer Buckle was shocked. At the bottom of the pile was a note written on a paper star. Officer Buckle smiled. The note said, Gloria missed you yesterday. Your friend Claire. P.S. Don't worry. I was wearing my helmet. Safety tip number seven. Gloria gave Officer Buckle a big kiss on the nose. Officer Buckle gave Gloria a nice pat on the back. Then Officer Buckle thought of his best safety tip yet. Safety tip 101, always stick with your buddy. Let's go ahead and look at our target skill, cause and effect. Remember, boys and girls, the cause has to happen first. Something has to happen for something else to happen after that. That's the effect. So. If the, someone knocks at the door, I go and open it. What happened first? The knock. What was the effect? I went to the door and opened it. I would never open a door unless there was a reason for me to open the door. In this case, there was a knock. So let's look at the first cause and effect. Here it says, children, this is Gloria, announced Officer Buckle. Gloria obeys my commands. Gloria sit and Gloria sat. What happened first? Officer Buckle told Gloria to sit. The effect was Gloria sat. Would Gloria have sat if Officer Buckle didn't tell her? Probably not. Dogs like to run around, right? But he told her to sit. That was the cause. The effect was Gloria sat. Let's look at the next one. Officer Buckle told his safety tips to 313 schools. Everywhere he and Gloria went, children sat up and listened. What happened first? Officer Buckle and Gloria told their safety tips. Everywhere he went and Gloria went, what was the effect? The children sat up and listened. What happened first? He and Gloria went and gave safety tips. What happened after that? The children sat up and listened. Now we're going to look at a picture, boys and girls, and find the cause and effect. Let's look at this. What is Gloria doing? She's imitating Officer Buckle. What are the children doing? They're beginning to sit up and take notice. They're staring at Gloria. 
So the cause is that Gloria is imitating Officer Buckle, and the effect is the children sat up and stared. That's cause and effect, boys and girls. Remember, something has to happen first. Whatever happens because of that is the effect. My shoelaces are not tied. I fall and hurt myself. Why did I fall and hurt myself? Because my shoelaces were not tied. What happened first? My shoelaces were not tied. That's the reason why I fell. That's the effect. Oh, awesome possums, that's the end of this wonderful story. I hope you enjoyed Officer Buckle and Gloria, and I hope you learned just a little bit about cause and effect. Like this video and subscribe to my channel. New lessons are posted weekly. Work on your growth mindset, and remember, all things are difficult before they get easy. Bye-bye. Have a nice day.